Well, there you are again. Charlie Greer podcast. I do this every day. Today. Should I buy a small home with land, Wes? Perhaps. So when I moved here in February, I think I was told about this in March or April. My landlord has a bunch of houses and properties. And uh, I was looking to, you know, maybe invest to get a little place. Uh, Because I'm in a small town. but So he's like, hey. I got some of these properties. Yeah, let me show you one in town. Is that? Then he's like, well, this one out yonder, which was like, it's outside of town. Small town. I think there's like six or 700 people in this town. There's like one road. But it's dirt cheap. I mean, the house you can't live in because the, the back of it is like falling to the kitchen. And they just have like, you know, something hanging over from. Uh, but it's got a new roof and it's got two lots. Um but again, it's 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 the middle of nowhere, and to be quite honest, and I hate when this happens. But you got to take shit in consideration. I googled the uh, address in the town. First thing that comes up before you might the ha- was mayor's son or sheriff or whatever kills six of his family like in some kind of child support dispute or some shit. And this happened like years back, but it's just like. Fucking shit. Like the dude, like a killed six people, his own family, you know, like f- <laughs> are they friendly to strangers? That's what I want. Or I'd have bought it. I know that's a kick in the nuts, and I, I don't like to talk about certain negative stuff, but that's what you got. The first Google search I do, and it's just like, well, I mean, do I really wanna uh yeah. So I never even went. I was supposed to, we made an appointment to go and see the place. And I saw pictures. I saw like a hundred pictures. Uh, and then in my mind, it's like, okay, how many, how, how much, lo- I'm, I'm going to be mowing the lawn. Two lots, you know, but you could just leave it. I mean, he could, <laughs> there's no real zoning or codes. The property taxes are pretty much dirt cheap. I would have to rebuild or just tear it down and, you know, start again or, um, my landlord was like, well, what you want to do? It's an add on. Just pull door that off, dig a big hole, burn it all and then cover it up. Like, I was like, is it zone for that? Like, oh, you're in zone. So they don't give a, yeah, you can put a trailer, you can put a this, that. But it, it, that's a responsibility that I might not. And I'm out of town. I mean, I'm out of, I'm in a small town. Like, um, but I have two lots Come to find out that the local church wants to buy one of the lots. And I was thinking, well, maybe I could do a deal with the church. Like if they help me rebuild the house, them and their flock help me re-get the house up to code or whatever. I'll give them the lot or I'll sell that one lot and use that money to fix the house. You know, there's things I want to, uh, quite honestly, I probably should have bought it back up months ago, but Again, that, that Google search scared me off. Oh, six deaths. So I'm up in the air. Yeah, I'm usually not. I'm usually determined. I don't need anybody's advice. And But anybody out there that has uh, a good story about, hey, yeah, buy the land, you know, this, that, and the other. Because um, I'm thinking about like farming, not farming, like g- garden and put the fence up, you know, that kind of stuff. Whether it's good or bad, I want people to comment like, Hey, I did this. That's what I've done. I love it. Whatever. Or the horror story of, well, they changed the zoning taxes and I, they, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Cause I, I need, I, I'm tired of being a renter. There's been times in my life where I could have bought, but I was, a, go, 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 go doing. So I wanted to experience life. I didn't want to, be tied down to some property because man owning a property is the water heater goes out. Uh, there's uh, a, a, a raccoon got in the whatever, and you got, there's all kinds of shit that get the plumbing, the, you know, there's all kinds of, uh, I've known that's all they do is their house. is just becomes like this thing.
or should I move it in? I don't even know. Like, how do you get water and electric to another building? Should I just buy like one of those RVs and put that there until I can fix the other property? And again, if I could get this church, if their flock, their members could uh, help me get the co- the house up to code, you know, at least I could live in it. I'll give them that lot. You know, they want to do like a pavilion or something. They want some kind of picnic, something for the church. And in my mind, that'd be good. It's like, hey, I got the church as my next door neighbors. They're not ever there except when they're doing their picnics and whatever. I can go over there and eat. You know, hey, we're friends, you know. Um, that's a good thing to do. That's that's a solid thing from the heart to do. You know, that's how people used to do it. Uh, granted, I haven't went until I, again, I didn't even, I was, um, me and a buddy, were going to go drive out there. Um, it's about 10 miles, seven miles where I'm at away from where I'm at now. It's a little itty bitty, these towns, like, I don't, man, you just, I guess it's one road. I don't even know, but, uh, I, I decided like, no, I'm not gonna, I went and saw the one property here in town, but man, it needed a lot of work. I mean, this thing's uh, big yard. Uh, no fence though, because I have dogs that like to have a fenced in yard, but it uh and it's in a nice area of town. Um but the house, I mean it need it needs work. Like bad. And this other house, the one that's out in the middle of nowhere, um, I mean I could just buy it and let it sit, you know, or uh Again, I'd want to go to like the county commissioner, wherever that is, and then see what the zoning is, what the codes are. Can I let it sit for a while? Do I have to get it up to snuff? What? Let's see. I don't want to be fined. How, how can I let the grass grow in a certain area? To Because growing around here, man, the grass grow. These people are always mowing their lawns. I don't even own a lawnmower. You have to pay somebody like, what, 100 a month just to, but there's both lots. There's two lots. One with the house, one with the, the one that the church wanted. And quite honestly, I haven't talked to the landlord about it in a while he might have sold it you know it might even be gone i don't know he hadn't said anything though so i think he would say like hey well gary shit about that and also just the freedom of like yeah you want to go to town and go grocery shopping and do whatever you're going to do get some chinese food blah, 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 see, hit a movie but also the freedom of having your own land like i can um grow a garden. I can have my dogs running around. I can, uh, granted. And again, the mosquitoes around here, mosquitoes love me. I can be out and my friends, they'll not get one bit. And man, I'm just getting blistered up. Just bite me five minutes. I've got whelps. Pardon me. It's got to be like a blood type thing. Hold on. She knows, she, my dog, she knows when I'm doing this and she'll just shake her collar. If you hear that noise, that's her being like, yeah, but she don't want to be on camera. She don't want to, she just wants to aggravate. Maybe she's excited. But everybody needs a home. Everybody needs a house. Again, I, uh, the landlord was like, just burn it down and build another, you know. But they did do a new roof on it, and it has certain things. You know, it's going to need some stuff. It's got like a fireplace in the living room. It's going to need paint. It's going to need a floor. It's got one new kitchen, the new wing of that. But that was an add-on. I could actually make it smaller, just tear that off and wall it up. And then, um, so if anybody's out there, if you've done that kind of thing, like how hard would it be to, you know, I mean, I took building trades in high school. We would, it was like a work program. So we'd go, I'd go to school till like after lunch till about like noon or whatever it was. Then after we ate lunch, we went down the back of the high school, the building trades area, got on a, a tool bus, this bus they had, like a school bus full of tools and stuff. And we went <clears throat> and we built houses. We would build a house that year. We built a house and then they take the money and like that they sold it and like donate it to the uh, school. They don't pay us, of course. They don't. And I've dug, dug foundations. I dug an outhouse, like the hole for the outhouse. Because we needed an outhouse. There wasn't anywhere to go. So we, and then I became the, uh, I was the tool manager. Like I stayed after a while. I'm glad because, man, after digging that 
foundation doing all that hard work. They're like, yeah, I, I got lucky and I got to be, cause I was good with the tools. I always brought them back. People just lay stuff around, you know, so you're on the bus, a tool manager, and then you have to sign everything out, paperwork. And I was good at that. So I stayed on the bus and, um, uh, Gave the tools. Of course, we're sneaking away and smoking as much as because the teacher was like, well, I got to go here. We got to go to Ace Hardware. We'll be back. Don't be smoking. And of course, what we do, we went behind the outhouse and we're smoking. Um, so I have a little bit of knowledge about a how electrical. I don't know. I mean, I, but I built a frame uh, doorway too. I signed it underneath that drywall. There's my signature on that, uh, whatever you call that, framing a door. I used to know how to do that kind of shit. I'm sure it'd come back if I like, you know, but have any of the of you out there, property owners, if you will, what kind of uh, good stories do you have to, you know, tell? Did you flip it? Did you just buy it? I'm like, oh yeah, but then add somewhere. Did Was it a horror story? Was it like, oh no, the worst thing? Oh my God, it's just a, a money pit that I'm just going to. And the property tax and end up losing it or something, seeing it go off to auction or some shit. And excuse my French, but I, I, I swear like a, a sailor. I'm sorry. That's just, I'm being me. Because we used to flip houses in St. Louis. We would, uh, we had an antique store. We did probate law. We did the whole estate thing. You know, we deal with the probate lawyers and sometimes we buy the property. A couple of times it was just like back taxes. Remember one time like, hey, she owes 14,000 back taxes. Her kids are gone or whatever. If you pay those two, you can have this. And we did. We buy it, slap on some paint, whatever, and flip them. We did that. I can't even count how many times we did that. Um, and I should have bought one of these small properties. But then again, I know the upkeep. You know, if I'm out in L.A. and there's a rent it out, well, yeah, well, who's, what are they going to do? Tear it down? I mean, I'm not there to, you know. Um, and honestly, buying in L.A., with my income, what I was doing, unless something popped off, like I got, I would never be able to buy like just a, the smallest house in Los Angeles is worth just the land alone. Forget about the house. Just a little plot of land is worth like a million bucks. So that was not, not really a, re I almost bought a trailer like in uh where was it at? Like Selmar or somewhere. But I didn't want to be that far out. I, I thought I was going to stay in California. California's went crazy. That's why I moved back in February. I've been back. I moved to Illinois seven months ago. Uh, used to live in the town I'm in now. Went to junior high here. And then I went to uh, high school in Urbana, Champaign-Urbana. Then I went to junior college in Champaign. And I was in a band. You know, I knew a lot of people back then. Um, I knew everybody, basically. And even worse, they knew me. That's. <laughs> but having property, is it going to get work where you're going to be able to just to. I mean, I was talking to the landlord. He's like, dude, you can build a shed and just hang out there. You can do whatever you want. It's not. It's just like an incorporated kind of area. They don't care. Uh, I checked the property taxes and it was cheap. You got to pay them monthly or whatever orderly out on it, but it was you know something I could afford. I'm just kind of on the fence. Like, well, should I? And then there's others. See, there's, a, 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 there's, I could be, um, and also when I told like family, like, hey, my, my mother's elderly. She don't want to live in the middle of nowhere. She lives in St. Louis. She's like, I got to be near a hospital. I gotta... uh, but country living, and I grew up in a small town. There's something about just being left alone. Your neighbors aren't that close. You got your own house. Uh, granted, the kitchen's falling in. So it needs like a flooring. And then it's been, again, there's just tarps on the back, like blue tarps. You know, they, it, there's no telling what, even since the last pictures I saw, uh, it could be mold. It could be, you know, you got black mold. You know, what? Or do you like my landlord said, just tear it down, dig a hole, burn it all, and then cover it up. <laughs> like, don't you have to get a permit for that? No, not out there. You know. Um, things to ponder. Because my, <laughs> quite honestly, I'm in this smaller apartment. My dogs are used to having in LA. I had a two-bedroom house with a backyard. They could 
run, laying in the sun all day. Here, they're just kind of cooped up. I got to walk them. I can't just let them out the door. Um, and my backyard here, it's a huge backyard, the apartment that I'm living in. But because it's an old house, it's split into like three apartments. And the backyard, for one, I have to go out the front. I don't have a back door to go. Out the front. So I have to go to the front, around. And lately, it's just been like Mosquito City. I mean, it's just like uh, I haven't been walking them back there because it just ate up every time I, you know, it's just they're eating me alive. Um, so I walk him in the front yard. Well, the front street on the sidewalk seems like the mosquitoes don't want to deal with the street on the sidewalk, which is a relief because man, there's times where I go out. I mean, it's been ate up, like lumped up from these mosquitoes and they're in this, they're, <laughs> they're in the grass. You take a step and they come up these mosquitoes from I mean, God and sweat bees and all kind wasps, bees, hornets, everything's out in that backyard. Um, now, I know that won't be when summer's pat. The summers are kind of brutal. So if I bought this house, had two lots, again, I'd like to kind of maneuver and deal with this church. Like, hey, man, you know, it's good to have friends. It's good to help out a church, right? And I get two options. You sell it to the church, use that money to help my house, fix my house, or have them some kind, some kind of agreement where, you know, they had a lot of people going to the church and you know, these people are construction workers and they, that's, that's all that's around here. Truck drivers, construction workers and pipe fitter, everybody. And that's what they do around here. So I looked at the picture of that house. Like this would be easy. If I had like a crew, they wouldn't take that any time, especially if I did what the landlord said and like just take off the end of the back house. Cause it was an add on get rid of the, that's what's fallen in. It's the add on. Cause I guess they didn't do it that well. Just tear that down, wall it up instead of a, you know, make it a smaller house. And if they would, if I can make an agreement, we're like, hey, you know, help me get this house up to code or I could live in it. I'll give you that uh, lot. Build your pavilion. Be what you're going to do. Of course, I want to come to the barbecues and the picnic. <laughs> I like hot dogs, too, you know. And I was gonna I was gonna talk about this early on in my podcast because I'm I've done over a hundred now. Um, but I keep some things I want to keep close to my chest. I don't want to be a lot, of, I have to contemplate a lot. I just want to like think things through. I, I, again, I probably should have already bought it and not even have to go just buy it and leave it there. Like, don't even go see it, just okay, it's there. Pay the property taxes, get ready, you know, start. That's, that's, that's it. And then if I try to flip it, if I was, and if I realized it was too much, like, oh, this is a bit up too much more than I could chew. Let's just flip this thing and move on. But the, when I, when I got here in February, I was looking around here for like trailers, like in a trailer park. I've never lived in a trailer. Um, but you have to pay a lot fee, you know? Uh, and they were, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 for like a two bedroom, you know, Hey, you got to pay like three or 400 a month on the lot fee, plus your bill, whatever the electricity and internet. Um, in those seven months, those things have went up to like 25,000. It's like, wait a minute, maybe I should have bought one. And then I could have granted they're not selling. They've raised the price, but it's like, Hey, you know, uh, but also if I, again, I'm thinking along the lines, if I buy this property and property taxes go up, Am I stuck with like, I can't afford the property tax and then lose, you know, that's, ha that's a thing. People are, that's happening to people. Again, out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. You know, this town again is like 600 people, maybe 700. I Googled and I got the, the, the murder. Some guy, the mayor's kid, the sheriff's kid, whoever it was murdered like six of his family over some kind of domestic. I don't know. That's not a good sign to me. I go with my gut, my feel. I was like, wow. You know, and I was warned by people are like, hey man, these little towns, these people, these, you know, hey, 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 that's it. And then yeah, I guess so, because and this happened years ago. This wasn't like around the it, it a lot of I was talking to people like, like oh, we didn't hear about it. When was that? I was like, well, about 15, 20. I don't know when it was. It happened, you know. Um, that, see, I look into the signs. If that wouldn't happen, I would have bought the, I was ready to go. We already had a debt set, a, a, a date set. They're like, let's go look at it. My buddy's going to drive me out there because he has a truck. 
And um, we wanted to drive. We can't do that in my Mercedes. I was going to drive around the lots. I was going to see what's going on. Um, after that Google search, I was like, man. But, I mean, again, all properties have history. You know, like um, the, my neighbor, the downstairs neighbor that uh, that lives next door to me, before he lived there, this old man died next door. Like they found him. He was dead. So it's like proper, you know, places have histories. This is a, a Civil War era house I'm living in. This is built during the Civil War, this old shit. And there's no telling how many people died in this, how many people die. So, I mean, there, there's stuff does happen, crime. Since I've been here, the cops come. There's a different, there's, there's shit. So I'm on the fence. I'm uh, contemplating, maybe not of this one, the other. And I will, I don't even know how I post. I could edit a video and post pictures, you know, just to show my phone. Hey, look at the picture now. <laughs> It'd be good to have some property, though. Have a house. Rent it out. Flip it. Um, maybe I should do like kind of I did with guitars or cars. Just flip, flip another, keep going. Next thing you know, you got more money. Flip, flip, and then buy something you really want. Like start with a $200 guitar. Flip that. Buy another. Flip that. Buy next thing you know, that's a $700 guitar. Next thing you know, you got like a $5,000 guitar. It takes like a year. You know, to just flip up, up, same thing with cars, buy a cheap car, buy that, give it money, save that money, take that, buy another car, you know. Um, it's just that I've never dealt with property and I've never dealt with, uh, uh, you know, the taxes and the, again, I don't know about the zoning or the permits or the codes. Like, well, you can't be doing, it. you know, I don't want someone to show up and give me like this huge fine. Well, see, you should have called us before you dug that. Now my landlord is saying, "No, dude, it's you can do whatever. It's incorporated area. You can build. You can burn that thing and just hang out. You know, it's like a weenie roast over your burning house. They can't. <laughs> as long as you have to disconnect the electricity, and you know, you. <laughs> I mean, I never would, but things to think about. Again, comment. Tell me what you think." If I had more income coming in, for sure. Like, say, if my podcast was doing it, it, it making money, I, I didn't make any money. I don't have any subscribers. It, it, <laughs> nobody's watching this. Nobody probably even watches this. But uh, I got a dream, right? But if I had more money coming in, I would. I would be flipping houses. I would be buying property. I would be, hey, you know. It's just this is kind of a low point in my life after the lockdown and um, L.A. was like living. It's like a war debt living out there. It was expensive. I had some savings. Every time I had savings, something would come up. And oh, shit, good thing I had getting robbed, stolen. People owe me. People owe me money. If I could get paid the money I'm owed by people. From my past, I could buy a house, two houses probably. Um, but I, that's never gonna happen. That people aren't gonna they, 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 they keep in touch with you. They know they owe you two to five grand. If they do mention you, it's just they're cursing your name. That's ah, son of a bitch. When I'm the one that helped that, that you know stole from me, and I'm the bad guy. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not the owner, dude. That's that's a thing. That it isn't like I'm the, you know. But I'm about to pay rent about a week or so. Maybe I'll talk to um, my landlord again. Again, it might be. I, would th I think he would told me, though. I'm pretty sure that he would have went, hey, you didn't. You should have bought that, Gary. You should. And by the way, I like my landlord. I mean, there's always things that you, you want your landlord to do. But, I mean, I get he, he owns like 55 houses. I get it. 
you know, there, there's a lot to <laughs> – he, maybe he bit off more than he could chew. But he's friendly. I've had a lot of landlords that are a lot worse, believe me, uh, threatening. And, you know, so he's a cool guy. He gave me a mattress. He gave me a queen, mat a queen mattress. Thank you. Um, a nice one, too. Or thank his girlfriend's mother, because <laughs> I think that's who. They're like, it, it, I have cats. You allergic to cats? And I was like, well, I am allergic to cats. But she's like, well, it's been covered, and we cleaned it for you. And everything. it's nice. It looks brand new. So they, they brought it right up. He pulled his truck right to my front door. Boom, got it off. And sleep like a baby. Because uh, in these small towns, it's, it's expensive. Like, I'm used to L.A. where you can get, like, mattresses for cheap, car tires, stuff like that. Around here, you know, it's uh, supply and demand. So you, where else are you going to go? You got to spend all this money on, on these mattresses I wouldn't sleep on. They want 100 bucks for just the smallest little shit. Like, can't do it. But, but it would be fun also, pardon me on the bright side, to redo a house, to paint it like you want it. To, you know, do your thing, get the garden, the this, the that, the maybe I'll if I could grow the grass really tall so nobody could see my house, you know, just like something. You know, the grass grows around the shit. You could be, where is this house? It's behind that grass wall. Of course, the bugs come out and every kind of raccoon and who knows, snakes would be in that grass. And of course, if I let my dog, that's the first thing they're going to do is run into that grass. Like that's what dogs do. They're able to smell a coon. Next thing you know, they're a fight. I've had dogs fight coons, and it, you got to watch your dog. But put a fence, especially in the backyard. Not even that big of a fence. I mean, you could fence it all in, but it's this huge, huge lot. I mean, for me, anyways, it's not like acres and stuff, but it's it's bigger than I'd have here in town. Even though I think it's. A lot bigger than my backyard lot, which is huge. Um, and there's nothing going on back there. It's not fenced in. They mow it, and it's big, that backyard. And I, nobody's ever out there. I mean, my other neighbor, he's cool. He uh, had a date. They were uh, putting. They were doing, like, uh, practicing golf the other night, the evening. And I was thinking, man, if I was back there, I'd be ate up by the mosquitoes. But it must be a blood type. Mosquitoes like a certain blood because they love me. And I'll be with a friend and he's not getting bit. And I'm just like, ah, that. you know, it's like, there, there's all over me. Oh, my eye, my nose, it's everywhere. So, again, comment below. Tell me your horror story or your, you know, the blessing of having a house. You know, let me know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> my inquiring mind wants to know. How much of a, again, if I could time it out, again, deal, do a deal with the church. Um, or maybe not even if I was, again, if I had income, I wouldn't have to deal with any church. I could have sell that lot or build another house, build two house, you know, or put a trailer on it. I don't know. I don't know if the one, I think the one, there's electricity and sewage at the other lot. I don't know. I think so. I think they said that. But maybe that's something that's, I don't know how how expensive it is to run. That's again, again, I need to know these things. I need to uh, uh, some <laughs> advice. And I'll keep everybody updated. I'll do an update on this. In about a week after I talk to my landlord, I'll um because I don't want to talk to him on the phone or text. I'd rather in person, like, hey, you know. Um <laughs> Maybe I can do a trade. You want to trade your house for? <laughs> that would be funny. How'd you get your house? Traded it for a. You never know. It's a strange, mysterious world. So yeah, look for the update. Probably about a week. I'll do it, and and uh, you know, just check back in. Go watch. I've got over 100, almost, I think, 115 or 120 of these podcasts I do. I'm ranting like a madman. I mean, it didn't, you know, look what it, look what you're, you know. I could be doing better. Yeah, I mean, I know. I get it. But, yeah, every day I'm doing this. You never know what I'm going to talk about. 
maybe you can't find it because they're doxing me like crazy. But hey, little adversity. I love y'all. Again, I do it every day. See you tomorrow. Be blessed. Cheers. <laughs>